First of all, Cyrus, are you a Lord of the Rings fan? I love Lord of the Rings. Hmm. Love it. It's one of my all-time favorites. Here's here goes. I'm going to let it rip, and people will probably gasp. And I I expect some people's estimation of me is going to be lowered. People will say, "Ah, oh, I thought I knew the guy." I just don't get into it. I I've tried. I've tried. I I have fallen asleep. I'm serious. I'm not exaggerating. I have fallen asleep watching a Lord of the Rings movie. I couldn't tell you which one it was. There are too many characters. There are too many plots. I can't keep track of everything that's happening. I know there's a ring and a, and a bad thing on a mountain You've somewhere. You've got to be kidding me. I am not kidding. <laughs> and I and I, I feel like the one person on planet Earth who just doesn't get into Lord of the Rings. I just don't. I, my kids love it. My grandkids love it. I just, I can't follow it. It doesn't make sense to me. It's phenomenal. I, I cannot believe you don't like, do you like Star Wars? I do. I, I mean, the newer stuff, <laughs> yeah. I, I, maybe the same thing is true of the newer stuff. There are, like, so many new characters now, and I'm not entirely sure who's doing what. You just what, don't care. The earlier ones, to say the, the right. chronologically, the very first one in 1977, yeah. loved it. And probably the next four or five loved them. But, but now, now it's getting a bit busy for me. Oh, but Lord of the Rings? Okay, explain it to me. Can you give me, like, a can, <laughs> in in... One sentence, well, that's probably not fair. In in 30 seconds, can you tell me the gist of Lord of the Rings? Okay, I know there's a ring, and I know there's a bad place with an evil eye looking for people, and that's about all I know of, of the Lord of the Rings. I cannot boil down the epicness of Lord of the Rings to 30 seconds for you. It's right. it's too important of a there's story. There's no hope for me. Uh, that's. What do you like about it? What, Serious question. What is it? What do you like about the Lord of the Rings? What do I, I like everything about it. All right, you got a you got a story of a friendship with Sam and Frodo, uh, and they have to go do this impossible task that neither one of them want to do, but they know it's the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they support. Is each that other. how you feel when you come in in the morning to do the <laughs> I show? I am I am Sam Wise Kimchi, <laughs> no doubt about it. I can't I just carry know it's the right it, thing but I can to carry do, but... you. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't know that reference. <laughs> I don't. Uh, you shall not pass. Yeah, uh, I don't know that reference either. <laughs> it's a, it's a great story about good and evil. And, My kids and doing are the probably right thing. ashamed right now. They're they're probably like defriending me on on Facebook because they're hearing me say this. Uh, all right. So why are we talking about Lord of the Rings? All right. All right. Well, I, I got my true confessions out of the way. Here's why. Uh, J. R. R. Tolkien's home in Oxford, England, uh, where he wrote. The Lord of the Rings, and I guess The Hobbit, and the other things that he wrote, uh, is being crowdfunded. Well, let me put it this way. Lord of the Rings fans are crowdfunding to buy that house and turn it into a literary center. What is this music we're listening to? What is this? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> okay, it's obviously got to have something. Is this Downton Abbey? This is, no, oh, how this dare is you? Abbey. Oh, how dare you? This I expect. Uh, this is obviously from Branson to Lord of the in. Rings. Come yeah. on, man. Come on, guessed, man. I would have, seriously, I would have guessed Downton Abbey. Why would I be playing down? I don't know. Uh, England, maybe. Wait, oh, hold on. I got something for you. All right. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let me let me play this straight. Um, J.R.R. Tolkien's home in Oxford, England, is where Middle Earth was made, where Bilbo Baggins first met Gandalf, and orcs and elves and hobbits sparred while one ring threatened to rule them all. Uh, the house on Northmore Road, where Tolkien penned The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings trilogy, will soon hit the market. This is the house they're talking about. To preserve it for fans and writers, the actors who brought Tolkien's worlds worlds to film are crowdfunding to buy it. So these names, I'm sure, will mean something to you, Cyrus. Actors including Gandalf himself, Ian McKellen. He's the big. He's the wizard, right? The tall wizard with the long beard. That is, is that correct. Him? Hey, nice okay. job. I'm surprised yeah, well, you call I, him the Jedi. He's, he's okay, the he's Jedi a, guy, right? Use the Force. Harry. Uh, Gandalf, use the Force. Live long and prosper, says Gandalf. Uh, and Martin Freeman, who plays Bilbo on The Hobbit, have launched the Project Northmore crowdfunding campaign to purchase Tolkien's home. And they're going to transform it into a literary center in his honor. If the campaign succeeds, the home where Tolkien lived from 1930 to 1947 will be the first center dedicated to the fantasy author anywhere in the world. According to John Riss Davies, who played the beloved dwarf Gimli. Oh, I know who that guy is. John Riss Davies. He was in that. <laughs> he was, yes. 
I never recognized him in that. I didn't even know what who Gimli is, but I like that actor a lot. I've seen him in some other things, and uh, I think he's very talented. Uh, anyway, a Tolkien-esque challenge lies ahead, though. Project Northmore has just three months to raise $6 million. Author Julia Golding, who's leading the project, compared their fundraising challenge to the perilous journey of the two. So now we're back into the story again. We just can't get away from it. Over $5 million of those funds will go toward the purchase of the home, and the rest will be used to renovate it and create the nonprofit that will operate it. If the campaign succeeds, the home will host literary programs for budding fantasy writers and Tolkien fans alike. So there it is. That's why we're talking. I thought that was pretty cool. Even though I'm not, you know, on the inside, I just think that must make a lot of people really happy. Yeah, it's, I think it's awesome. You know, I heard Stephen King is doing the same thing with his uh, his famous mansion in the Bangor. Overlook? Yeah. No, no. Oh, not his mansion. His, okay. his, his home where he raised oh. his children. Oh. Uh, and it's still his it's winter home from what I understand, or his summer home from what I understand. Uh, but he's renovating, not renovating it, but he's opening that up to budding writers. And because he's probably just going to spend most of his time in, in his Florida home or wherever mm. he wants. You read the, you, I'm sure you saw The Shining, right? Did you ever read the novel? Yeah, I've actually, read? I've read every single thing Stephen King has ever written. I, I, even stuff that's not published. I, I'm a big fan. Hmm. Yep. So you got your hands on things that he didn't even give you permission to. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah, the police may be monitoring this. So, okay, so here's the reason I asked that. What if the Overlook Hotel, I know that's not the name of the actual hotel, but the, the place where they did the, the shots, you know, the outside shots of this grand hotel, if they, what if they opened the Overlook Hotel and made it look just like the movie The Shining? Would you go stay there? Absolutely, that'd Would be. You so get on fun. your big wheel, big tricycle, and ride through the hallways. <laughs> I, you you, you're going to anyway. post. You're going to post a picture of me on a tricycle now, aren't you? And tell everybody. Hey, that's that a that's great me. idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, great this idea. This is my producer. I put I put a picture of you in your in your little car on Twitter yesterday. Okay, let's get back to work. Okay, let's go to Jan in Columbus, Ohio. Hi, Jan. Hi, Patrick. I just want to tell you you're not the only one. I absolutely loathe Lord of the Rings. I can't, oh, I can't even do it. I can't I'm do not it. the only one. That's surprising. No, you are not the only one. However, I, okay. I go even further than you. I cannot tolerate Star Wars. The very first Star Wars, I fell asleep in that. I'm like, no, mm -mm, not, no. I, <laughs> I kind of like the Star Wars stuff. That isn't, I did like that. No, I know you do. I Okay. So I get to be president of the club because I don't even like Star Wars, but you could be mm. vice president. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like any kind of literature that isn't real. I don't like sci-fi. and any, I don't like anything that is not likely to happen, you know? Okay. I don't. It's not my thing. But so, I didn't want you to feel too all alone and, and too weird. Well, thank you. I'm, 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 I would really like to hear Cyrus interrogate you because – the. I think Cyrus, you probably yeah. are even more shocked now that you've you found another person who is not into Lord of the Rings. I'm just so sad. Yeah, yeah it makes my, me so sad. My he pities daughter us. and son in law. Jan, he pities us. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't pity me. I'm grateful. I feel so sorry. I some people seem addicted to it almost. You know, it's like and and the they'll wait, well not now with COVID, but wait in line out in the cold for the next Star Wars thing to come out and ugh. Yeah, that's Cyrus. No. To not a T. Well, I'm no, glad to know me. I'm not the only one. I am. It, I feel less lonely. No, now. you're not. So. Thank you. Yep. You're not crazy. <laughs> All right. Okay. I keep telling myself that. Good it's good day. to have some affirmation. Thanks, Jan. Hey, are you? You must be listening on the Relevant Radio app, right? Yes. Okay. We don't have a station in Columbus yet. Yep. But uh, thank you for listening on the app. No, I know that. You're welcome, and I love your show and all of Relevant Radio. So thanks for everything that you thank guys you. do. Thank you. God bless you. Live long and prosper, Jan. Did I say it right, Cyrus? Is that the right Lord of the Rings? <laughs> That's perfect. Use the force. I'm lost. Okay. Thanks, Jan. God bless you. Uh, I think it'd be a good time to take a break. Cyrus is hyperventilating over there in the corner. So we'll take a break. <laughs> He's going to punish me with music now. I'll be right back with more right after this. For more of the Patrick Madrid Show, visit RelevantRadio.com slash Patrick. 